Hey everyone, it is Gina and I am back today. I thought I would do a microwave meal, so to speak, to um, get everything going. In my microwave, I've got a little less than one and a quarter cups of water. We are going to be making the bowls like you get at the uh, big chicken chain. First thing we're going to need is we are going to need some instant mashed potatoes. And we are going to put them in this bowl. So I'm going to need two thirds of a cup. And that's why that first batch of water is going. I'm going to assume you do not have uh, milk on hand. Um, it does call for milk and it calls for a little bit of margarine or butter. But we are going to say we don't have either of those on hand today. So there's one third and two thirds. And it calls for two thirds of a cup for two servings. So if you have less than two people, you just need a third of a cup and enough water to make that. So at this point, we are just waiting. Once we get the water out of the microwave, we'll get, go to the next step. While we're waiting for the water for the potatoes, I will show you. This is some frozen corn that I had in my freezer. Um, so we're going to use that. We are going to use one pack of this brown gravy mix. Y'all saw that in my Dollar Tree um, items for Thanksgiving. So we only used one. And so we're going to use another one and have one left and this is what I could get on the chicken nuggets it's what they had at Dollar Tree y'all so we are gonna head toward that also I've got some really cute sprinkles we are soon going to be making some Christmas cookies y'all um, anyway um, the only thing I'm not going to make in the microwave is the nuggets, but they do, however, on the back of the package, have microwave directions. So, if all you have access to at your place is a microwave, that's what you can use and you can still make this. Alright, we got our water to a boil. We're just going to add it into these flakes here. And we're going to just stir them around a little. I do have a bowl here that's got a nice secure lid on there that we are going to um, allow these to rehydrate in. So I'm just trying to stir these up and get them all moistened because, yeah. So now I'm going to put on my gravy. Again, I'm going to microwave it. It says two to three minutes in the microwave. Start off with cold water, one cup, and then add in the pack of mix and put it in the microwave for two to three minutes. All right, y'all. My gravy is out of the microwave. The one thing I forgot to show y'all that I'm going to put on top of, at least mine anyway, um, is this. Um, cheese, it's the uh, Mexican blend cheese from Dollar Tree. So, and this one is Breckenridge Farms. And I'm going to put that on top of mine. My, my, some people don't always like cheese on everything. So, anyway, now at this point, I'm going to put in the corn. And after that comes out, I'm going to cook those nuggets for just a couple minutes. All right, so... The corn is out of the microwave. I'm going to turn on my air fryer. 400 degrees. Hopefully, five to seven minutes should cook those nuggets. And then I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to assemble this. All right, everyone. I am going to assemble my bowls now. My lovely air fryer is off. Just turned off. And everything is crispy and crunchy and all that good stuff. So... Each bowl is going to get about half the potatoes since there were two servings in here. 
and let me scrape out the last of these because one's got a little bit more than the other right now. And I did the instant because I figured that was accessible for um, pretty much everyone. And uh, that way you're not having to like cook these on the stove top. Yes, my hands are clean. I know I'm in the food, y'all. <laughs> and next we're going to put on our corn. So I'm actually going to try to smush these potatoes all the way down to the bottom here. And... That way we got a place for the gravy to go. Now, tonight I'm just making these for two people. Um, is so if I was making it for four, I wouldn't necessarily need more nuggets, but what I would need is more potatoes. You can always do with less meat, but you have to have enough something else to fill them up. So, I'm just putting good serving of gravy on there on each of these. I'm probably going to have a little gravy left. Maybe. Man, you know what? Let's live it up and use all the gravy so that we don't have leftovers tonight. So, got plenty of gravy in both of those. I'm going to pause so I can put this stuff over in my sink real quick. All right, we are back, and each of these are going to get six nuggets. Four, six. I'm just trying to divide these up here, y'all, um, and make both at the same time. Sorry I'm having y'all wait so long. But I'm just trying to assemble everything here. So, the last thing's last. I'm going to put cheese on mine, but not on Hub's. Because Hub's not a big uh, dairy person. So, he can definitely do without the cheese on his. Um, anyway, if you haven't already, click like, subscribe, leave comments in the comment section down below. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.